Hi, this is Geeky Tech Joe for Metal Gods TV, which is uh, a change again from Mick the Beard, but uh, I'm here with Marseille. That's like to introduce yourself? Well, many people know you. Yeah, Neil Buchanan from the band Marseille, formerly of uh, something called Art Attack, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, yeah. we're now uh, kicking ass in Marseille. Nigel Roberts, I'm the vocalist in Marseille. Okay, and first question is, why did you pick the name Marseille? Because um, a million years ago, when the band was first formed, we were called uh, ACDC. And then the guys from Australia came over, so obviously we had to change it. And um, at the time, we thought we want something that, that sounds seedy and underworld. And at the time, Marseille meant underworld, ladies of the night, the, the drug scene, you know, real edgy stuff. Now, 30 years later, it's just a middle-aged, middle-class holiday resort in France. Yeah. But, um, so, but we're stuck with it, because the band made it the first time round. You know, people know us as Marseille, so we've held on to it. And how did the band form? So how, how did you get together? What sort of happened there? Oh, wow. Well, this is the second life for the band. It's the first life, uh, uh, the ACDC years. Um, we won the first ever Battle of the Bands competition, got record deal, ended up in the States playing in the big stadiums, 30,000 people a night. Uh, the rec we signed a record deal very young. A uh, record company went bankrupt, or the management company. Uh, we went into a legal battle that lasted two and a half, three years and it wiped us out, completely wiped us out as a band. We all went off on separate careers. Uh, mine was off the tap, you know, and, and we all did all right. And then we got back together again about two years ago and said, you fancy it? Yeah, let's do it. And we got completely bitten by the bug. We got the original five members back, but then three fell by the wayside. But me and Andy, the original guitarist, it was our band when we first formed, and we got the new guys in, Nigel being one of them, the vocalist. And how are you finding the uh, experience? It. <laughs> no, it's been great, it's been really good. I mean, Marseille were the first band I ever saw uh, in 1979 when they were supporting UFO. And uh, got stuck because I went with a bunch of friends from school, so I'd have been about 14 years old. And uh, all my mates got into the bar when the sport band were on. I couldn't, I couldn't get in, they wouldn't let me in. So I had to watch Marseille. <laughs> wasn't intended to because we just I just wanted I'm gonna get a beer I'm gonna get a beer you know and uh, I watched these lot and they blew me away and then um, not long after that they supported Judas Priest they supported White Snake and I went to all those gigs it was like Marseille was supporting everybody who I was going to see and so I, I was hooked uh, and you know so like 30 years later to get the gig as a vocalist it was like mind blowing, yeah. You know, so it's, it's been awesome. Basically, living the dream, then, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I've just got a pile of texts this morning from friends, you know, saying like, you know, because they, 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 they always say like, you know, you're doing it for us, do this, you know, like live the dream, dude. You know, go and knock them out, and it's been absolutely fantastic, yeah. So. And to put the record straight, he couldn't get into the bar in those days. That's why he saw us. But he's been making it up in the bar ever since. <laughs> Think it's dead right. <laughs> so, what are you promoting now? Any new albums, new music? Yeah, the new album's out. Um, I mean, it's been a great year for us. We, sh we launched the band again last year here at the Hard Rock Hell on stage three there, in the, in the New Album stage. Um, and it was great. We had a great time. And uh, Johnny, the organiser of, of the event, said, Look, what do you want on stage two? He said, come, You've got to come on the big stage next year. What do you want? And we said, Well, we'd like to open it actually because. Stage one doesn't start until sometime in the afternoon, so we said let's go out and just let as many people as, as possible see us. And it was absolutely crammed. I mean, I think there's a bit of a buzz going about the band at the moment, which is really nice. It was absolutely crammed this morning. Um, and it was great, it was a great gig. And um, it, it was, it's, just, it's just good to be back doing this. Um, we've done the album, Unfinished Business. We've been doing the, uh, we just finished the UK tour, so it's been a real busy year, and next year's going to be more of the same, you know. Okay, and uh, how many people have actually spoke to you about Art Attack on camera? Because I know you've been doing the whole Marseille interviews, and I want to ask a little bit about the uh, entertainment side of it all. Yeah, I'm off. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the bottom line is, you can probably answer all these questions you've heard me so, so many times. And I don't mind it at all, I mean, you know, it's something I'm terribly proud of. Um, it went on for 20 series, 15 years. I made 500 shows, and I just got to the 500, and I was because I, I used to write them and everything, you know. And um, I got to the 500, and I just thought, yeah, I've done enough now. I've said enough. I've said what I wanted to say, um, and it was, it's brilliant. And it is a good show. I mean, everyone says to me, ah, how awesome it is, you know. And that's really lovely for people to say that. 
Uh, yeah, I'm really proud of it. But um, the rock and roll is what runs through the veins. But no, I'm you, you far away. I'm happy to answer anything. Well, I was just going to say I don't know a single person that doesn't know Art Attack. So when, whenever I say oh, I'm interviewing Marseille, who's that? Oh, you know Neil? Oh, Neil Buchanan. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, I mean a lot of people are coming in because of obviously coming into the gigs. A lot of the younger people are coming in, students and stuff, because of because of Art Attack. Um, but that's fine because well, you know what we're what we're trying to do is turn them into Marseille fans, and it's been working. We've been, we've been having a riot. Yeah, it's really good. Did you, you know, after the first, sec, uh, before the whole Art Attack thing, yeah. did anyone see you on Art Attack and go, oh, it's that guy from Marseille, or did, or at that point were you that's a bit? A, that's a good question. Um, no, because I cut all my hair off. I mean, I had used to have seriously long hair. I mean, I used to, my my um, my party trick I was I could tuck I could tuck my hair into the cheeks of my bum, and I, I used to go around like. Um, I, but yeah, but <laughs> um, I had very big hair, and uh, I cut all that off when I went into the tally, because it was a bit of a distraction, you know. Um, and I didn't want to do the telly thing. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do the. Sorry, just had this vision of them skid marks in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you later. They're still there. I thought they were streaks. They're still there. <laughs> still there. Um, but but um, I don't know. I don't know whether anyone did spot it. I, I don't know. But now the, obviously it's very obvious now. You know. Um, and I, it, was, it was a thing I was a bit concerned about. I thought I wonder how people will react to it. You know, they might just go, oh, idiot. But now nah, this reaction's been really, really brilliant. I mean, the loyalty that people have shown me through the art attack then um, is, is fab. And now, hopefully, we, we're transferring some of that loyalty into the band as well. There were some rumours going around. I don't know if you've heard them, but that you didn't want to talk about it. You'd burnt all the jumpers. You'd, you didn't want to do any art attack promotion anymore. You wanted to get away from it. And I thought, that doesn't sound like you. No, the, the, I mean, if you remember, there was a, a rumour about 18 months ago that I was dead, you know. I yeah. mean, these, 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 these rumours these rumors go round. I mean, that, I, think, I think a lot of that stemmed from um, uh, Mark Spate died, you know, that, that was most unfortunate. And then Tony Hart died. Um, I think, uh, you know, I think some idiot on, on uh, Facebook put it out that I was dead. And it went all over the in internet. And it was a bit naff, actually, because I, I was away in the Welsh mountains for a week. And uh, my mum heard it. She, and she couldn't contact me because she, she couldn't get the signal, you yeah. know. And someone said, so, oh, I've heard about you and Neil. It's, it's really sad. And it really freaked her out, you know. But they got the dick who did it anyway, so. Yeah, he'll never go on Facebook again. Never go anywhere if I get old. But, <laughs> so but, uh, no, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but it was, it, you know, blah, blah. You know. Um, I've been asked by someone, and you'll know who. Uh, why, when you were on Art Attack, did you always tend to look behind you like that whenever you did something? We noticed that was your little thing that you yeah, always used to do. That was do. funny. I just, on your chest, you be on yeah, exactly. That <laughs> bugger's not trying to get on as well, is he? Um, the funny thing is, we used to write that into the scripts as oh, well. Right. Yeah, we did. We used to we used to write looks left and right, and it just became a joke. And what uh, it was, it was just me. It was just me going. I, th I think it was something I saw on a cartoon years ago. It was just like you know. You know, it was like, it was like yeah. one of those. And that's all that was, but everyone used to laugh about it. And so we used to write it into the script, Neil looks left and right at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, well, that was a stupid question. I've never been asked that. No, no, I, we always ask, we always try and... Ask me about the head. <laughs> the he oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he knows what to right. ask. He's heard, he's heard the head. What do they ask him about the head? So, so where's the head these days, Neil? And you know what the answer is? Yeah, I do. Oh God, tell that was an interesting answer. Like that. He's locked in a box in the attic with a Barbie doll. That's it. That's <laughs> it. A naked Barbie doll. That's it. Well, there were a few variations of the head. So is it the original that's locked there away, there or is it the variations of the Barbie doll as well? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there were a few variations of the head. You're absolutely right. You can tell I was a fan. <laughs> yeah, can you, Sado? Shut up. <laughs> Still got the sad. videos. You, Sado. Do you remember the first two series? Do you remember the head being a real person in a box? No. Uh, uh, Stop it. Uh, I do remember the yellow and blue shirts rather than the red ones. Oh, well, that's that's fairly expert. That's uh, yeah. That's expert. Well, actually, in the first couple of series, yeah, you will if you go and look at oh, those tapes this. again. The head <laughs> was a real person. All oh, right. Shows how good the makeup was, you say. And 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 he wrote Zap as well. Yeah, I wrote Zap as well. Because <laughs> you're a bloody animal, aren't you?
Are you, geeky, why do you think I'm called Geeky Tech Joe? Are you, are you a stalker? <laughs> are you my... Hang on. <laughs> no, no. What was the question? Zap? Yeah, I wrote Zap. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay, if you're being anoraki about it. You know all the characters in Zap? Yeah. Do you remember any of them? Do you any of the names? Cuthbert Lily. Yeah. Daisy Deju. That's it, okay. Uh, there was that spy one in the newer series. But that's it. There was you, you Smart you Arty. Know, yeah. There was... Uh, the handyman. Yeah. And then well, there'd be the little puzzle before the adverts. Right. The yeah, but that wasn't right. a character. But all the no, characters. Just, yeah. Uh, all the characters. I did the voices for all of them. Oh. Yeah. I did the voices for all the characters in one take. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So I used to do the voices for Smart Artie, which was me, obviously. Cuthbert Lily I used to do his voice, and even Daisy Dares you. Do yeah, I knew you were going to ask me. <laughs> you should have said it. I know. That's what I was saying. I thought, oh, what the hell have I said? <laughs> yeah, okay. What do you want? Do you want Daisy Day? I don't care. I'll do Cuthbert Cuthi- Cuthi- Lily used to be. Look, I'm a credible rock star <laughs> now. Like, can we just? I'll say something that you know what you want. Uh, well, Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah. And Ringo was going on holiday. They asked Neil to do to do Thomas. Thomas. Oh, I can't do that. No, I can't do that on camera. I can't do what I was going to do. <laughs> Thomas is a very nice train. I was going to do the voice for Thomas once upon a time. OK, Cuthbert Lily. Cuthbert Lily. And I said, that, what you got to remember, I did this in one take. Yeah. And you know what it was based on? Do you remember, I don't know if you remember Benny Hill? I do. Well, at the end of Benny Hill, there used to be a chase for all the girls in stockings and suspenders. And they used to chase them, and it was all... And a lot of Zap was based on that. And the character Cuthbert Lily used to be... Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. That was Cuthbert. Yeah. Daisy Dares You. <laughs> Daisy Dares You was just. <laughs> Smart Arsie was just. <laughs> just, just, just remember Rockstar, all right? Just remember. Keep it in the back of your mind. We'll come back to it in a minute. We are a serious rock band. Smart Arsie was. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the other guy. This is not attack. This is an heart attack. This is heart attack. And now there's just... Me? Yes. This is Marseille, not heart attack, by the way. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, that's that's me. That was me and Marseille. Marseille. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, anything you'd like to say to the fans watching at all? <laughs> just, no, 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 just, just a final message. Just, is that a fan watching? Let's say, Hi, someone Peter. else... <laughs> Nigel does some voices as well, you know. He does, he does Nigel Roberts, isn't that right? Yeah, sometimes. I'm quite good at him. Yeah, he's, uh, I find I do that one best. Yeah, I, I do myself well yeah, as well. Yeah, you're doing it really good, yeah. But he doesn't really like good. to stretch himself. <laughs> Tumbleweed. 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 Well, thanks for the interview anyway. That's fab. That's, That's fab. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Ah!